It's time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Freeway was on Jeezy's The Recession podcast, and he talked about losing a child and how his faith has helped him cope with that. He also revealed that his daughter is going into cancer treatment, and she's mm. gearing up for that new treatment. She was diagnosed in September. Here are some more of Freeway. As far as the gift of life, like my son, he saved four lives. Two people got his kidneys, one person got his lungs, and mm. one person got his liver. And wow. it, it's a blessing, you know, and uh, just to, for it to come full circle because someone's son saved my life. Someone's son was in the same position, and, you know, they they were generous enough for him to be an organ donor, and that's how I received my kidney. Damn, I, I listened to that yesterday, and I said to myself, why am I not an organ donor? And the reason mm -hmm. I'm not is because they always say we won't need our organs when we die, but are we sure? That's always been my mindset, but that conversation mm -hmm. uh, definitely made me rethink my decision. You know, there was always a movie one time. That's the reason why I'm not. I think I am now, though, but there was a movie where they would kill people for their organs. Oh, yeah. Because they know that when they died, they were able to accept their well, organs. Well, harvesting organs is a real thing. That movie was called Get Out, too, by the way. But um, Dick Gregory said that when he was here, he talked about, you know, people harvesting organs. Mm -hmm. God bless the dead. All right, now, I'm watching what's happening with Meek Mill and uh, some local rappers in North Philly. I don't want to talk too much about it, but I see he has deleted his social media. But he also let people know before that happened that he does have an EP uh, coming out. So I guess that'll be out this Friday, a four-pack. Could someone school then, me on what happened in that Meek Mill Philly situation? Because I, I, I didn't mm -hmm. understand... The, the backlash. I think, I think what happened was Meek Mill said, if you guys in Philly stop beefing, I'll sign all you guys independently, let you all guys, let y'all all come out. He said, I'll get dope. all the main, I'll he get, said, I'll get all, all the main big artists in Philly a deal. If they put them bodies behind them and squash them beefs, I hear about, got some hot young bulls from my city, but they all beefing. Right. So, they, so the dudes is like, pretty much like, F you, you, you could have signed us a long time ago. Why now? Like, don't oh, just sign I, us now. So they got upset about that. Oh, I thought it was because he said, put the bodies behind you. Meaning, like, if somebody mm -hmm. did something, something to, to your you, homie, let it go. Right. You, you wouldn't just let it go. But you got to break the cycle, right? right. At some point, somebody got to break the well, cycle. He was trying to be positive, and then things went very left. It went very left. After that, they told him to pick a side because Meek Mill said pretty soon everybody going to have to pick a side. Too much real ish going on to be mm -hmm. cool with everybody. They told him it's time for you to pick a side. And he said, well, I'm you, not picking no side. Well, you know what to do, Meek. Go sign somebody from Baltimore. Baltimore, Delaware, just skip over Philly. <laughs> That's his town. You ain't gonna do that. That's his town. That's his... Hopefully they squashed it out because there's a lot of great talent in Philly. Hey, listen, the, cra the crazy part is I, great I can understand what everybody's saying. I can understand what, what those brothers are saying when they was like, yo, if somebody, you know, did something to one of your homies, you'd want to get back. But I also understand what Meek's saying when he's like, yo, you might have to put that behind you. Like the cycle has to break. It does. Because if it doesn't, it's just going to keep going. More people are going to keep getting killed. More people are going to keep going to jail. The cycle has to break at some point. Right, and I agree, and I think with all the deaths that's been happening, all the shootings, I think Meek's whole thing was like, yo, let's try to slow this down. Let's stop. Mm -hmm. Like, we all brothers at the end of the day. All right, now, Black China is upset about some things that Wendy Williams said on her show. And let me say something right now. Black China is definitely getting the bag right now. I've been hearing about the numbers that she makes off of OnlyFans. She is one of the top creators on OnlyFans, and she definitely stunted after Wendy Williams said this on her show. He has a child with Black China, right? Yes, yes. So that's King Cairo that he's. I he's told you, house. Black China um, texts me regularly. Can you help me find a condo? I have no place to live. Yeah, China. She said saying. she's not getting child support from either. From uh, she, the payments were lowered from robbing. She yep. said that Tyga mother, doesn't single help at mother all. of two. Can I find her a place to live? And it was like random. Like maybe she sent a blast to everybody that she knows because it didn't say like, dear Wendy. Yeah. I didn't answer it. I don't want to be involved. Black China got it. She posted a, a, a video yesterday. She posted a close to $2 million in cars. She posted about a $2, $3 million nah, crib. I don't know what she got. We don't know if that's hers or not. She's been like, I'm she, not going to say that just because somebody posts up on social media. She's had them cars a it. long time, though. I'm just well, saying. Well, let me know. just tell you she's right now. On, on OnlyFans, she makes, she's like the number one person. They say she makes about $20 million off of OnlyFans. Now, million that's, what? Yeah. Th those numbers are, I hey, always hey, think hey, those numbers are exaggerated. How old y'all to believe in this stuff? Lot. But she does, make, <laughs> she does make a lot of money on OnlyFans, though, but I think I think Black China's good. I don't know what she's got, but just because you ask somebody um, to help help you find a place to stay don't mean that you can't afford a place to stay. You might just be looking for a realtor or something. I don't know. Oh, is she going to call Wendy for a realtor? Hey, <laughs> Wendy, you live in New York. We, you Wendy said it was a massive email, a, a text blast. It wasn't like she just hit yeah, Wendy sure. personally. 
shit, I need somebody right, to help well. cater for Thanksgiving. I'm <laughs> you said I take last? You said I'm gonna blast? Anybody else? I let anybody know uh, anybody that can help cater for Thanksgiving? That don't mean I, can, I can't afford to buy the food. I'm looking for a caterer. <laughs> all, all right, all. well, Black China definitely took offense to that. You know, sometimes things get a little shady there, so it is what it is. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.